welcome back to my channel i almost did not record this video today last week was a challenge for me health wise um and I'm, I'm feeling a little depressed about it today actually i of course i don't know if i mentioned it before but i have arthritis and a torn meniscus in my right knee so that pain got so incredibly bad that I had to go to my rheumatologist and he ended up draining fluid off the knee and he also gave me an injection, like a steroid injection in my knee. The knee feels, I want to tell you, about 90% better. There is still pain in the knee, but the knee is 90% better, thank goodness. So I'm getting around much better. But he also sent me to the lab to have some blood work done and he also did um, labs on the fluid that he drew out of the knee. All of that was negative. The blood test, however, did show that my glucose was 252. So now I have to have an appointment with my doctor to discuss hyperglycemia and possibly being told that I have diabetes. I am not looking forward to that. I have been thinking about that since yesterday evening when I looked at those labs. So I have been just kind of dragging around, just getting things done because I absolutely had to have them done. But I was saying I am not gonna let this get the better of me. I wanna get my videos done and out. Um, this is probably the only video I'm going to record today and I have two other videos I need to get up this week. I will probably be doing those tomorrow or the next day or something when I feel like a little more up to it. But I did want to go ahead and get my makeup basket video out. And as you can see, I have no makeup on my face today, which further lets you know that like I am not super into it today. So you are seeing me with my bare face, which I hope is okay with you because that's what's going on today. Um, this week though is, I want to tell you 99.9% .9 going to be Mally Beauty Week this week. I put out a lot of the products from hers that I have because I miss using my Mally stuff. So I wanted to pull it out and use it. And I did, I'm going to start with the lip products and sorry for the extra noise. And as you can see, I'm like in my old space, my beauty room slash office space. I didn't even feel like going downstairs to my, my little setup downstairs today. So I just wanted to get this done and I am not trying to drag anybody down. I won't be complaining anymore in this video. I am just going to tell you what I'm going to be using. So I pulled out this trio of her lip crayons that I have. And this one, see how you, you see stuff and you can't remember that you really, really liked it. But this one is in Fig, which is a color that is right up my alley. This one is in Posh Pink. Posh Pink is like a new, this is definitely gonna be used with a lip liner. And then this one, this one is, oh, I was wrong. This one is in Bold Brick, which is a gorgeous sort of a burgundy color. I have two, three of her H3, H3, which is hydration, hydration, hydration. Three of her H3 lip glosses. And the first one is in Pink Daisy. And these came as a trio too. I got these from QVC a while ago. But this one is Pink Daisy. I think I used that one the least. The next two I used the most. This one is in Orchid Berry. Like Orchid for some reason for her is my favorite shade. But this one is Orchid Berry. And this one I really, really like. This one is in Shimmering Nude. And it looks like that. And then one more lip product from her is, and I don't know what happened to my peach one. I think I just didn't pull it out. But I like these because these are very hydrated. And I don't think she sells these anymore, but it's the liquid lip balm. And I have this one in the shade Pure Bliss Kiss. So to me, that's like a berry color. So I'm going to be using that as well. 
Um, I pulled out a few palettes here. This one is an OG. Like a couple of her palettes I decluttered. I had like all four of these. A couple of them that I know I won't ever use I decluttered and gave them away. But I kept this one because this is the most neutral one. And this is the City Chick in the Buff eyeshadow palette. And it looks like this. So this one is to me sort of along the lines of the original Naked palette from Urban Decay. And I pulled out this one. I think I got from QVC. But this is like one of her sort of newer palettes. Um, this one is also sort of a new palette. It looks like this. I pulled out one of her singles and I used to love this packaging and I hate that she got rid of this packaging. But this is one of her eyeshadow singles and this is the Effortless Airbrush Eyeshadow and this was in, in the shade Lush Forest. And Lush Forest looks like that. I also have it in a trio. So this is the Effortless Airbrush and it says Nourishing Eyeshadow but it comes in three shades. And they are here. You have it in Vintage Taupe, which is here. You have it in Antiquing. And then you have it in Gorgeois Grape. And I love the formula of these. And I hate that she got rid of this packaging, but I know it, I don't think it was really cost effective. I have a couple of highlighters from her. And this first one is the invisible light illuminating stick so it's just meant to be like a, a lit with from within type of glow let's see if you can see it when i put it on my hand you can very barely see it but you can see it a little bit there's a little bit of a glow on my hand from this one so i'm going to be using that one and then for a more blingy glow this is her effortlessly airbrushed highlighter and the packaging change for these as well. They used to be in this type of packaging. But we'll get back to that. But this is what it looks like. This is in the shade Stardust. And I will swatch that for you. And you can see the huge difference between the one that I swatched before and this one. So that's the Effortlessly Airbrushed Highlighter in Stardust. Um... I have one sort of stick blush from her and I don't, I think the packaging changed. This is the Shimmer Shaping Go and it's in the shade Glow Deeper. The packaging has changed for these I believe. I think the packaging more looks like just black packaging. But it is a stick blush and I will, see how pigmented that is? It is such a pretty color. Um, so that's Glow Deeper. I also pulled out and I may or may not use, this was part of the Shimmer Shaping Go set too. And this is the Shimmer, so this is the highlighter. And it looks like that. So, looks a little ashy. I may or may not use that one. It looks like it might be good, like an inner corner highlight. Um, I am going to be using her Ultimate Performance See the Light Concealer. And I have it in the shade Rich. And it has a little fine tip on the end of it like that. And I'll kind of squeeze a little bit out so you can see it. This is one of those sort of thicker ones that a little bit goes a long way. And it is right here. That looks a little bit weird on my hand right there. But we shall see if it's okay on my face. I have her Flawless Finish Transforming Effect Foundation in the shade Rich. And this is what the packaging looks like. And it is the one that has the little mesh in it. And then a solid, I think it's like a, yeah, sort of a solid, I don't want to, I don't know how to explain it, but let's swatch it. And that is what it looks like there. My hands mind you are lighter than my face so that is the foundation that i'm going to be using if it is too dark or too orange i'll just mix it with something else i also of course am going to pull out my 
Everless, Evercolor Poreless Face Defender. And that looks like that. And that's just for shine. I do have her Effortless Airbrush. It's sort of a highlighter and a blush. You have the Pure Light Highlighter and the Afterglow Blush. This is the packaging that I love. I hate that they changed it to this because this is what I like. And I like the sort of spongy sort of, um, and you can even see that on my hand already. But you have the Afterglow, Afterglow Blush here and you have the Pure Light Highlighter here. And I will swatch the both of those for you. I don't want to mix it on my fingers. Yikes. Okay. But very pigmented. So those are those two. And they kind of look like this one. I should have pulled out the pink one instead of this one. But I have that. I also have an eyeshadow single with her eyeshadow base. And it was from a TSV a while ago that had all the cherry blossoms on the makeup bag. And this is for a quick eye. And I used this actually yesterday. And it was really pretty. And I'll swatch that as well. And we'll swatch it right there. This is the eyeshadow here. And then this one right here is just the eyeshadow base. And I did use that. So, And it helped my eyeshadow to stay on all day and not crease. And the last thing that I have here is a primer. But this one is different because it's a powder primer and I do actually have a backup of this one and it is her perfect prep neutralizing powder primer in rich and I do not think that she makes this anymore which I think is a shame because first of all it is very silky you can see it on my hand here um, second of all it does a good job sort of absorbing the oil especially in the summer when you have extra oil on your face it does a good job of absorbing the oil so i wish that she wouldn't have gotten rid of that one i also may use that one to top the foundation because this one looks a little more neutral and it said neutralizing than her foundation does so that is it you all that is going to be my makeup basket for the week and i'm grabbing a uh, makeup wipe i wanted to um just pull out some Miley stuff because I haven't used it in a really, really long time. I wanted to go ahead and get this video done because I didn't want how I felt today to get the best of me. I want to keep everything moving in the right direction. Um, I'll actually let you all know how everything turns out. My doctor's appointment is tomorrow. So I'll let you know how everything turns out. Probably next weekend when I do my um, makeup basket, I'll let you know. But thank you all so much for watching and dealing with me with no makeup on. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye. Thank you.